Welcome to Picture This New Media. My name is Halal Ernie and today we're going to be going over some recommendations for today's new comic book day haul. I know I'm late again but uh, we'll get this started and we'll get this fast and out of the way. I got a couple of uh, number ones that I'll read over. Um, pretty small haul for myself today. Uh, we'll see what they have at the local comic book shop but not really much I'm looking to get other than a few. So we're starting off with this full, this top one right here. I don't like the Flash. Batman's uh, got so many stories out. I don't know. Let me know if I'm missing any of these two. But I'm not a Flash fan. Not really my, not really my thing. Batman I can deal with. Uh, Daredevil issue number twelve. Uh, no, hard pass. They've completely destroyed his character and is replacing him basically. Uh, next up is X-Men issue number 23. Um, that one, uh, I don't like what's going on with the X-Men there either, but uh, just let me know if I'm wrong on that one or not. Um, might be worth it to some uh, X-Men fans, but... Uh, I, I highly doubt it's, it's any good. Next up is, uh, Dark Knights Brotherhood of Steel, issue number 11. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, skip out on that one. I don't really know the premise of this. It's got Wonder Woman, it's got Nightwing, and it's got Batman, and they're all rocking swords. So yeah, just let me know if I'm missing anything on this one. It looks interesting. It's 11 out of 12, so this this story is almost done. Uh, next up is Venom, issue number 20. I highly recommend, and I'm going to get. Next up is Immortal X-Men, issue number 12, hard pass. Poison Ivy, hard, hard pass. I... They ruined this character too. Um, Fantastic Four, Hard Pass. Spider-Man number 9, Hard Pass. Star Wars number 35, Hard Pass. Uh, Spawn 342, I'm going to get. Highly recommend. And it's only $2.99. Next up is Shazam by DC Comics. Uh, hard Pass, but let me know if I'm missing out on anything of this one. This is the original Shazam. Adventures of Superman, John Kent, issue number four. Uh, let me know if I'm missing out on anything on this one. Uh, not really uh, too excited about it. Uh, next up is Noctera, issue number 15. A really good long-running uh, image comics uh, story. And the sun has gone away and monsters are here to stay. It's a... Uh, it's a very, very uh, interesting story, and uh, you could be the next victim if you stay in this in the dark too long. Next up is Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty, issue number thirteen, hard pass. It's got the original Captain Man, but Captain America, but that is still not good enough for me. Uh, I'm not really, I really don't care for Captain America as an IP. Next up is Invincible Iron Man. Hard Pass by Marvel Comics. I'm not going to get it. Uh, the Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing. Not going to get Yoda, issue number 8 by Star Wars Marvel. Hard Pass. Uh, Red Goblin, issue number 5. I do recommend and highly recommend this one. Uh, really great story. Intense. A um, little watered down, but it's, it's good. It's really good. After that is X-Men Before the Fall, Mutant First Strike. Let's see here. Krakoa Strikes, ever since mutants declared war on themselves. This looks like garbage. I highly recommend it against. Next up is Walking Dead. I don't know. Phantom Road, I do recommend, but this one I, I'm not going to get at my local comic book shop. Uh... Yeah, I, I regret that they're not getting this one. Next up is Loki, issue number one. Uh, it seems that a lot of fans of Loki really like it. Um, 
but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I, I guess I'll recommend it to Loki fans. It's got Dan Waters as a writer, a uh, German, uh, per Peralta as the artist, and let's see, we got Will Moss and Michelle as the editors. We got three editors on that, so that's not that's not really a telling of a good a good comic. I'll, I'm going to pass on this, but let me know if this is a good one. Next up is Peacemaker uh, Tries Hard, issue number two. I do recommend. This is a DC Black Label um, IP. I'm not really a Peacemaker fan myself, but I do uh, see where and why this is liked. So yeah, uh, definitely get this one black label you won't rec uh, regret it next up is steelworks issue number one by dc comics um you can pause there to read the description i'm not really too interested in this so let me know if uh you're if you if i'm missing out on this one if you recommend it Next up is The Ambassadors, issue number six by Image Comics. I'm gonna uh, pass. Uh, Deadpool Batter Blood, issue number one by Marvel Comics. Um, looks like the editors and everything, so I do recommend this one. Um, But it doesn't look like it's being well received. It does not look like it's being well received. Next up is Bishop War College, issue number five. I will recommend against this one Star Wars Return of the Jedi, The Empire. Um, what would you do if the Empire took over as operations began to take shape on the moon of Endor? A technician must figure out how to live in the Empire, but can he stay out of trouble? Ugh. Really? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I might get that one. I might get that one. Maybe. Maybe. Once Upon a Time at the End of the World, I do recommend this one. It's actually a really good one by Boom Studios. Um, you won't regret it. It's a good apocalypse story. Yeah, really good. Love Everlasting by Image Comics. Uh, not really my thing, but it's, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth getting. Uh, it's basically... She's trapped in an endless terrifying cycle of romance and is a problem solved man Mary, but every time she falls in love, she's torn from her world and thrust into a teary saga. Her bloody journey to freedom and revelation starts from a breathtaking. So it kind of starts off as a love story, but it turns into a tragedy and kind of like a sci-fi thing going on. Twilight Zone. Uh, next up is Groot and Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm gonna pass on both of these, but I do recommend Groot to uh, Groot fans. Uh, I'm not the biggest Groot fan. I'm more of a, a rocket, uh, raccoon rocket guy. I, pff, God, I, I'm not really a, uh, I think his name's Raccoon Rocket. Yeah, r r rocket, r rocket Raccoon. I'm so bad at names. But yeah, I, I'm not really a Groot fan. But it might be cool though. Is that a Chainsaw Man reference? I don't know. I hate this place. Issue number nine, I do recommend. Um, very interesting story. Very crazy. If you like the magic, mix it in with modern modernity. Next up is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vs. Street Fighter, issue number one. I do highly recommend. 
and we'll probably get next up is hairball issue number three by dark horse comics i do recommend uh yeah it'll be really interesting next up is joker uncovered issue number one uh it looks like it's highly received and looks like there's way too many cooks in the kitchen there's punchline so i'm i'm happy about that we'll see it's got a punchline so i might i might i don't know we'll see we will see i'm not i'm not in a hurry to get it but looks interesting next up is the magic order issue number four or five uh, I highly recommend if you haven't read this it's already hell to pay issue number five by image comics I started it off strong with this one but I, I to be honest I totally fell off I'm not sure how good this stayed but it didn't keep my interest for very long uh, Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer by Opus Comics I do highly recommend. Um, Maleficent by uh, Dynamite Entertainment and Disney I recommend especially if you're a Maleficent Disney fan. Star Trek uh, let me know if it's anything good in that. Blood Tree issue number five I do highly recommend. It's gonna be it, it's a really good story and I, I like the way it's heading uh, next up is in hell we fight life ain't easy demons try to torture you for all eternity monsters want to eat you there's a stunning lack of reliable indoor plumbing and almost impossible to get ice cream it sounds like it's for kids um, if you want an edgy teenager to get this one this one might be good for that but uh, as far as um, Adults, this isn't for for adults. It seems like seems like it's more for uh, edgy teenagers, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. Next up is Scooby Doo. Where are you? Issue number one twelve. Recommend to kids. Star Trek: Deep Space Nine. Dog of War. Let me know. Uh, Image Comic or Star Trek fans. Let me know if that's any good or not doesn't look like it's uh, anything I want to see new talent showcase miles milestone initiative issue number one uh, just a little cash grab to to preview some artists and some I guess characters uh, not really my thing don't recommend getting Next up is Traveling to Mars by Ablaze. It's an alright story. Um, if you like the whole space tragedy craziness going on. Not really sci-fi though. Oh, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, next up is Almighty issue number 5. I do regret not getting this one from when it started. So I do recommend. I highly recommend and wish I got. I'm not gonna get today where did it go next up is stone heart by Emma Cuber and image comics I do highly recommend followed by star signs I do highly recommend against same as gangster ass barista garbage next is junk rabbit issue number three I do recommend followed by money shot comes again <laughs> issue number two I do recommend this one. It's by Vault Comics. If you like the whole silly thing, um, definitely not for adults. Uh, yeah. Next up is Astrobot. It's by Whatnot Publishing. I do recommend this one if you like the whole Gundam uh, mecha battle suit thing. If you don't like that, you're going to hate this. Next up is Survival by Dark Horse Comics, issue number two. I do recommend if you like guns and zombie stories but I'm so burnt out on zombies uh, I just I can't stand any more zombie stories next up is lamination by Oni press issue number two 
I do recommend this one though. It's not uh, zombie related. It's more dark arts and demons and murder and secrecy and cults. So yeah, it's it's definitely interesting how they try to summon bad spirits, but th they're the bad spirits this entire time. Purgatory Must Die by Dynamite Entertainment. I highly recommend. Uh, I don't know if my local comic book shop is going to carry it, but I hope it does. Next up is Street Fighter. Uh, that one's not going to carry it. Uh, don't care about it. any of this stuff. Breath of Shadows, issue number 5. If you like... Um, let's see, let's see. If you like hallucinogens, you'll like this one. Uh, if you like robots and war and apocalypse stories, you'll like 2000 AD. Uh, Godfell issue number four. If you like um, nature and magic versus mod modernity and uh, basically sci-fi twilight creatures, this one's good for, good for you. Uh, I didn't like it. Uh, it's got barbarian fights. It's a little. It's uh, it's it's silly. It's silly. You have been cancelled by Mad Cave Studios. I'm gonna pass on this one, but if you want to stop and read this, um, it, 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 it looks really dumb, to be honest. Really, really dumb. Sins of the Salton Sea by AWA. Uh, Wyatt and Prof a professional thief living off the grid is recruited by his brother for at least one job. Their target, an armored car traveling down a desolate stretch of California highway. But when it turns out their target is carrying not gold bar bars but human cargo, Wyatt is plunged into conflict between warring factions of a doomsday cult of a doomsday cult. The cult claims that It is their solemn duty to save the world by any means, by the means of human sacrifice. Will Wyatt protect the boy who has come into charge, or, or will he be swayed by the cult's increasingly convincing claims that the end of the world is fast approaching? Now, this sounds like a badass movie if I ever heard one. I am definitely pulling this one, and I do highly recommend that you guys pull this series as well. Wow, that sounds actually really cool. Next up is By the Horns, issue number 9, uh, Dark Earth by Scout Comics, I do highly recommend. Uh, one piece I recommend as well, as well as Eternus by Scout Comics, uh, not too bad of a story there. Excuse me. Next up is Sudden Death by Scout Comics. Han Kelly cannot die, with his revelation he is catapulted into a... Excuse me into a world of fame and fortune that he hopes will repair his broken family, but Detective Rosalind Lovejoy works to travel the dark mis mystery truly behind Hank's immortality. So it's an immortal story. Um, it's by Scout Comics, so I, I... The art doesn't look like anything to write home about, but the story in itself sounds really good. I'm going to pull the series in case my local comic book shop gets the idea of getting more. Hopefully he will. Uh, next up is Katrina's Caravan, The Night of La Luchiza. La Luchiza. Not for me. Um, Sonia Katrina sweeps into the small town with a traveling carnival and tells the gathered crowd a dark tale. A father and son are captured by a group of militiamen who use terror to patrol the border. At the darkest moment, the refugees find a fierce ally, but can they trust this monster once it has killed other monsters? Sounds like there's a lot of allegory there, and sounds like a lot of political stuff. I... I... I, yeah, I don't, I don't recommend this. Boom Studios, Fence, Redemption, Hey Kids Comics as well, but we'll see this. It's a, uh, it's for Boombox, so it's definitely for kids and teenagers, pre, pre-teens. 
I'll let you read that, see if it's good enough for your kids. Go ahead and pause and read that. I say, I'd say yes, it's about fencing. Uh, it's about teamship, teamwork, teamship, teamwork. I say it's good enough for your kids. I recommend it for your, for your kids, preteens. Especially if your teen likes uh, manga, this this definitely right up their alley. Uh, Griffin Most Wanted. If you're a, if your teenager is more edgy, I'll definitely recommend this one. It's got a lot of uh, crazy fights. I don't think it's too insane though, and it's got the decent storyline too. Very decent storyline. It's 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 bloody though. It's bloody. So yeah, there is some there is some politics in it though. Just be warned. Um, I don't think anything else is coming in my local comic book shop, except Puck the Artist might. Um, let's let's check it out just in case. It's a non-stop issue, so it'll. Um, it's definitely for kids. Uh, read that, not for me, and uh, I'll recommend it for. I would give this to my kids. Yes, I would definitely give this to my kids. Alright. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Um, I will be doing more uh, reactions to some Lol Cow stuff. We got a lot of chance things going on. Um, some kinky videos. Yeah, we got a lot to go over. So, thank you so much for watching. Salam alaikum. I know this was short. And you have a great one.